The Umbrella Academy is one of the best series on Netflix at the moment, in my opinion, because it combines six very different people and just, just makes a good, well fleshed out story, which leads on to season two, which has so many possibilities. You can see characters like number five travel back in time and never forget to remind you that he's a 58 year old man in a 30 year old body. I think he says that in at least every other episode, which kind of gets annoying towards the end, but it just reminds you. Oh, well, there's Luther, who just the loyal idiot, as he just follows the father, who, which everybody else hates, but he follows it, even though he turned him into a half gorilla. While well, there's Diego, he walks around pretending like he's Batman, wearing knives everywhere he goes. But he's a very conflicted character, and he's quite a tragic character towards the end. As his mum dies twice in the film, which you can see the relationship between him and the robotic mum, like through flashbacks before, while his Ting dies because he couldn't answer his phone. Bit unlucky. While Klaus, Klaus is just a pothead. But you get this feeling that he only does drugs because of the loss of number six because you always see number six with Klaus because it's all in his mind and it's like a death that is haunted him throughout time. Well there's one episode where Klaus goes back in time to Vietnam and you can see how war like affects his character and through the show you can see the characters are pretty distant at the start through the book that Vanya created which made most of the characters hate Vanya that's why she's pretty isolated from the rest of the team while there's Alice who's like a sort of actor and she, she's like trying to be the leader sort of of the group but she, she gets her throat like sliced by Vanya towards the end which was a very shocking moment in my opinion very shocking but yeah Klaus in my opinion he's the best character he is the best and I like how this show doesn't explain anything like it doesn't explain how they got their powers it just shows that 43 mothers got pregnant at the start of a random day they all hate the father and there's a robotic mum and a pet monkey who can talk they don't explain anything it's all up to your imagination but you can see their powers you can see the sort of plan that the, the father wanted for them to become a team like the Avengers and you can see how that didn't work but now that the apocalypse is looming number five goes back in time to try and get the team working together and he succeeds so this leaves the question where will they go from here because at, at the end of season one they, they they are going to travel back in time who knows how long but before the apocalypse so yeah well sasha and hazel that's sort of a side plot and they are like, like the henchmen for for the time bureau sort of thing they're like assassins sent to kill number five but you can see sort of how their characters develop as they begin loyal to each other but then towards the end they're fighting each other killing each other it's just strange because all characters they start off so loyal to each other and end the same violently in my opinion this show is great okay it just is great the whole tone of the show the acting was incredible the vocals and like some of the soundtrack, oh the soundtrack was amazing, even the orchestra bit, some of the songs so catchy, made the scenes seem so alive, it was, it was amazing to watch, in my opinion. But, the, the show has so much potential, and it's meant to go on for at least 8 more seasons, which will be insane. You can see how they got their powers, how people got pregnant, you can explain who the father is, because the father's probably an alien or something. And you can explain who the time bureau is and yeah but the only disappointing thing was this guy Harold Jenkins he was useless he seemed like a creep from the very start of the show but you could tell something was off of him and when you found out it just wasn't a surprise but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video I expect more and yeah enjoy